Hey guys, this is Josh again with another Layout Medic screencast. This is a show where we teach you how to revive the web. So uh, today's episode, I'm going to uh, expound on the uh, last episode, number two, where I talked about how to configure your own web server on your Mac. Um, we're going to talk about domain names. So uh, I don't know if you remember last time, but when uh, I showed you the WordPress site, we had to go to localhost slash WordPress. And there you go, that's all fine and good, but if we link to files or um, you know put images in there, the uh, links probably aren't gonna work because we're not gonna have it in a WordPress folder when we actually move the site to a live to a, um, a live domain. So what we want to do is simulate like it would be on a regular domain. Um, if you are on a PC and using WAMP server, the uh, stuff I show you will be the same. The files will be in a little bit different uh, locations, so you'll need to just adjust for that. But um, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'm, the files, the first file I'm gonna edit is actually hidden. Um, the operating system does have a reason for hiding these files so you can't mess up your computer so be very careful um, we're gonna have to use the terminal to, to get into this folder because because it is hidden uh, just make sure not not touch anything else unless you really know what you're doing so in the applications I don't know if you've ever noticed a folder in there that's always there called utilities so you go in there, you go in the terminal, and the terminal is basically um, like the old DOS prompt for computers. Um, it's just a way where you can run things over the command line. But uh, since we can't get to the folder through, uh, through the finder, we're just going to type open and then backslash etc. <clears throat> and that's the name of the folder. The backslash um, is just a, a way of saying at, from the root. Um, so here's the folder. Here's the file we're going to want to edit. It's just called hosts. There's no extension or anything. Uh, right click it. You'll want to open it with your um, text editor of choice. I use TextMate. Um, here, open up my other screen here. Okay. Most likely you're not going to see all this stuff when you open it. You're going to see that. So, um, this is all the stuff I've added since then, um, just to, uh, you know, all the different sites that I've worked on. So, um, basically, what you're going to want to do is configure um, a domain to point to your local machine. Now, for all these, I use .local, just because I'm sure to not override any real domain names, because... Uh, basically what it's going to do, it's going to intercept any request to that domain name and point it back to your computer instead of going out to the internet. Also, this does not work for other computers, so if you're trying to show somebody something, you can't just give them this domain name because it's only when you're on your own computer that this is going to work. Okay, so <clears throat> basically all your, if you can see all the different lines, I'm just going to make a new line and basically copy what I have on these other ones. 127.0.0.1 is the um, IP address for localhost. Um, you'll see if I go back here and I type 127.0.0.1, it's going. To, it should be the same thing. Yes, it is. So reloaded and I get the same thing. So basically, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're telling. Um, the computer what domain name to what IP address so we're gonna just say my awesome site dot local and basically that's it when you save it it will uh, ask for your password so you need to make sure that you know the administrator password for your computer otherwise uh, you can't do it um, maybe different for Windows users um, it's been a while since I've done it so um, oh, you'll have to test that out. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so 
We call it myawesomesite.local. Let's see what happens when we go to WordPress. My awesome site local and uh, it didn't error out or anything but we just see test so um, we've told the computer um, that we want to use the domain name but the web server still has no clue so it's just seeing it as though we're typing in localhost without any folder name so what we want to do is say okay if Apache sees this what folder do you want it to point to? So we're going to go back to the MAMP folder and conf apache. And then this is the one you want, the httpd.conf. So we're going to open that in a text editor as well and scroll all the way to the bottom. And you'll see these are the um, virtual host rules that I put in my configuration file that uh, are telling Apache, you know, where um, where to point all this stuff. So I can actually just copy one of these And so the server name is it's wondering uh, what domain name it's going to be looking for. So we call it my awesome site. I believe I just want to make sure. Yeah. So uh, my awesome site dot local. And then um, this was actually in the applications mamp ht dot slash WordPress. Okay, I'm going to save it and try it out. And it doesn't work. And that's because um, Apache, it doesn't take, it doesn't work right away. So you're going to have to restart it. So I'm going to go to the map, stop servers. Start it back up again. And if I did this right, there you go. Uh, MyAwesomeSide.local is pointing to the WordPress blog that we set up. So this is a great way for you to test stuff and um, kind of see what it would be like on a domain name. Um, and hopefully this helps. If you have any requests for episodes in the future, please let me know um, by sending me a message on the website. Um, I've also got these hosted on the website now, so feel free to go and leave a comment and let me know. All right, thanks for watching.